Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. Here's a look at some of the stories making news today on this Tuesday. Several people injured after a crash involving a Miami police officer. The officer colliding with another driver while responding to a call last night. We're told the officer was traveling northbound on the Northwest 7th Avenue with lights and sirens going on. The other car was headed eastbound on Northwest 10th Street at the time, and that's when the two collided. That officer has some lacerations. The incident is under investigation. The man accused of stabbing his wife to death in their Pembroke Pines home has now been booked into jail himself. This is 62-year-old Jorge Jose Sinclair. He is charged with second-degree murder as well as aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Now, police say on Thursday he barricaded himself inside his home after the stabbing. The SWAT team was eventually able to coax him out. Five children were inside that Grand Palms home at the time. All are now safe. A motive for the stabbing, though, is still unclear. And some wild new dash cam video capturing the moment a jet crashed into I-75 and burst into flames on Friday last week, killing two of five people on board. The jet hitting a car as it went down, leaving that vehicle right in the middle of the median. Now the flight took off from Ohio en route to Naples when the pilot reported losing not one but two of the engines. The crash remains under investigation. And as breaking news happens, we have you covered both on air and online. You can head to Local10.com for more local news coverage and updates all day long. Have a great day.